Ayan, let me double check everything. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ayan, let me check the chat if kumagana ba. Ayan. So, good morning, everyone. Today, our topic is gonna be about short selling kasi sabi nila, sabi nila, there's a rumor that says, uh, sabi nila, first quarter of this year, matutuloy yung short selling. I doubt that. <laughs> As in, tagal-tagal na nilang promise yung short selling na hindi pa rin nangyayari. Um, Kasi, um, it's really complicated. Uh, the, ano kasi, um, Philippines is not yet, me personally, I think Philippines is not yet really ready about credits, yung mga utang-utang na yan, but sh- and short selling, great, uh, may ut- utang-utang yung short selling eh. So, natatakot pa siguro most probably yung mga brokers, kaya hindi pa na organized talaga. But anyways, we're gonna be talking about that. Just in case it happens, we'll, we'll talk about that. And ano mga strategies? What are the strategies that you can use uh, for short selling? And so, um, if you're watching a replay of this video, this video is recorded live. So, please move forward to around 25 minutes. Uh, para po uh, masimulan nyo doon sa discussion talaga. First up is I'm gonna be reading the greetings. If you have any questions, if you have any recommendations, um, anything uh, you want to uh, want to ask me, put it in the comments, please. And we're gonna be talking about that first, and then we'll go to the discussion, and then my recommendations for today. I have a few uh, recommendations for today, but these are very good companies, so. Po ito. Just look for the good comp- uh, the companies you love or you know by heart before you want to enter. And so um, that's our topic for today. Um, good morning, everyone. Good morning to my daughter, Laika. And so let's start. Um, first up, I want to ask a request. Please po, share yung video. Please share the video to your walls and to your... Uh, to Facebook walls and to your trading groups, right? So that uh, newbies, especially yung mga newbies, yun yung gusto nating matulungan. Eh. So that newbies who need these kinds of guidances na binibigay ko, malaman nila na may programs na ganito. So that they'll be guided in their stock market journey. So yan. Um, 
Okay, let's start with uh, reading the comments. And Ella Montefalco, good morning, Hops. Good mo- happy birthday, Sir Lloyd. This Friday pa ang birthday ko, right? There was a request na mag-seminar da ako this Friday and Saturday. Kaso nga lang, birthday ko Friday, so hindi ko magagalaw. So, I, uh, the seminar this weekend, yung weekend, uh, workshop, um, online seminar will be on a Saturday and a Sunday pa rin. Nine in the morning. Pasensya na po. Right, um... Roger Aguilar, good morning from Singapore. Ayan, good morning sa inyo dyan, mga kapatid natin sa Singapore. Uy, abangan niyo po yung Singapore. It's not yet, um, it's not yet, ano, uh, not yet, what do you call this? Uh, final, but most probably March or April, punta ako dyan sa Singapore. So, abangan niyo po. Ayan, Fo Laika, good morning Sir Lloyd. Joe Ligaris, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika. And um, Cecil Pange, mind buntag Sir Lloyd. And um, Cecil, good morning. Ranulfo. Fair is this mind buntang coach and like a BSE palihog sir. I'll write that down. Oi guys, ang daming umakit kahapon. I hope nakapresto na kayo. Um, IDC, good job sa mga pumasok kay IDC. Right, that was a very bold bounce. So, yun. Um, Tyrone Javier, good morning. Um, June, Luis, Bulandres, heart, heart, heart. And Mabel San Jose, good morning sir Lloyd. Tell po, please, let's check out Tell. Um, gumalaw na si Tell, ah, di ba? Nirecommend ko yan a few days back. Uh, let's check out Tell's chart let me go to the charts tell ay mag load na chart uy nag pull back pala si Pilar. i thought it was it was already going up so anyways it's still at support level so let's see ay mag load da let's try investagrams the charts ko right um investagrams mm-hmm. let's go to the chart Yan, dito, ito lang siguro gamitin natin kasi mas mabilis. Right, tell. Yan, let me load by chart layout. Yan, yun, si tell, di ba? Nag-Bollinger Band trigger na. I've been recommending te... No, that's ISM, sorry. <laughs> Ay, nako. Yan, si tell. Uh, so, so far, the support is holding. And meron naman tayong divergence dito sa area na ito. So, I'm confident this support should be should hold. Sa mga hindi pa nakapasok, yeah, you still have chance to para magbodega. Nag-trigger na siya kahapon ng Bollinger Band niya. Um, but, uh, nagka-sell off after that. So, that's a good sign. Usually, it tells us that um, top-heavy na ito, parang papunta na ito sa taas whenever that happens. So, bodega na kay Tel. We'll talk more about Tel in a while. Um, yun, um, Arjo Mendoza, good morning Sir Lloyd and Laika AB, ISM po, thanks oh, Let's write, write down AB and ISM Si ISM, nag-ballin siya trigger na Can't really tell if aakyat yan Or bababa ngayon So, as usual Sabi ko sa inyo, magbadega pa tayo Ng ISM, we'll talk about the issue About ISM right now, ang dami na naman sa ibang Group daw nagsasabi na, ah, nananakot Na naman kay ISM, so Tuwing umakit sa ISM, <laughs> lumalabas yung mga bad news na yan, yung mga pinopost na mga guru na yan. So, we'll talk about that in a while. Um, does anyone know about that issue, uh, uh, yung mga pinopost ng iba? Can you post it in the comments, ano yung mga sinasabi nila, so that I'm uh, ma-cover natin. I can explain to you, uh, ano yung mga, what are their concerns and how, how are they true or what should we think about it, right? So, Neil Bersamin, nag-imbag. Uh, na imbag na bigat sir yan sa anong ano nga pala yan na imbag na bigat um is that ilocano i think so so good morning um hops sir chart request po p core pha and sec p core still okay for me p core um na natawa yung chart ng p core eh. sec uh, i want to share you why All right grabe no naalala ko pa yung mga charts eh. so i'll share p core p core si p core pula pero umaakyat look at that pula 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 but pero t- pataas yung presyo right it's positive 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 good volume for pcor so i guess this is a good bottom uh mag-inbak lang po kayo ng pcor right so if that's my recommendation yesterday yun ko na i-recommend yan ngayon kasi na-explain ko na yan but yeah <laughs> tawa yung chart niya so we'll check that out sec ren let's check out sec daran boa mind bun ba maayong buntis gis lloyds <laughs> thanks JGS re- recommendation mo before cheers yes si JGS grabe unstoppable right dahan-dahan pero akyat pa rin ng akyat right, congratulations sa mga pumasok kay JGS noon right 
look at that right there. Um, there's the MA20 bounce recommended uh, JGS here sa bottom na ito because there was an engulfing pattern. Recommended it here. Umagsak pa. Kaso nga lang, we, uh, this is already a very good bottom for JGS. We were already seeing a good divergence. So anytime soon, this was already a good bottom. Yeah, look at that. There was a divergence at this area right here. So it was uh it was already a healthy movement for JGS. That's why I recommended it. Recommended it again sa ME20 and then there it is, unstoppable na sa JGS. Uh move on na tayo dyan. <laughs> So, yun. Um anyways, um enjoy your earnings. Daran Boa, good job. All right, Cassell, John Visaya, good morning, sir. Watching from Middle East. Profit taking na po ba ako kay Ali at AC and Meg. Yan si Meg recommended ko ngayon si Meg so I don't recommend take profits kay Meg today uh, kakasimula na naman ng trend niya um, Ali and AC yan um, I remember was that last week or first day uh, no no last week right? it specifically says AC and Ali pasokin nyo po yung dalawang yan good job if pinasok nyo nag breakout na sa resistance si Ali uh, we have another resistance right here so anytime soon you can sell half your Ali pwede nyo isell half muna yan And then let's uh, just buy more on the retracement. So good job sa mga pumasok kay Ali. Recommended it here. And kay Ali, I mean kay AC. Ayan. And then yun na, lumipad na. And then also for Ali, same situation. Recommended it here. And there it is for how many days umakit na. Congratulations. Pwede kayo mag-sell half dyan. Alright? So yun. Uh... RJ Abercosa. Si Meg, um, recommended ko ngayon si Meg. So... Medyo maaga pa. We'll talk about this, the chart of Meg later. Right? So, good morning. Um, Sir Lloyd, Tugs PLC and PXP, please. Er, Tugs PLC and PXP. Yan. Si PLC, nirecommend ko yun kahapon. So, I don't want to recommend it now kasi lumipad na si PLC. Uh, let's check out the chart of PLC again. All right. Um, did recommend it yesterday because of the MA20 bounces. There it is. Then lumipad na siya. Uh, so we are waiting for it to break the resistance. Pag nabreak na yung resistance, tuloy-tuloy na yan. Uh, hopefully mag-break. But ngayon, I don't, I don't want to recommend it anymore. Malayo na siya sa MA20 niya. MA20 was the best entry for PLC. Uh, I did recommend that yesterday. So yesterday was the best entry. Annie Lynn, good morning, sir. CEI. Thanks. I'll write down CEI. C E I, yan. Uh, Chromey, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, then. Vul po, um, please. Thanks, yan. Good morning. Uh, let's try, check out Vulcan. Nagda divergence na si Vulcan na. Um, kumusta yung chart niya? May buntag daran, boa. Um, Tyron Javier. Um, pasuyo coach ng Tugo ISM FNI, right? Tugo ISM FNI. I'm still holding on to my Tugo, yan. Um, many thanks, yan. You're welcome. Excuse me. Uh, ingay ng aso ko eh. <laughs> Hops, uh, inputs po sa sudden pullback ni PSEI kahapon, end of the day. Um, PSEI's sudden pullback at the end of the day, yesterday. Ayan. So, PSEI uh, from green, <laughs> pumula. Always, that's always expected, guys. And dyan yung resistance, on last na resistance at that area. So, it was expected na magpupullback. So, yung mga stocks na mataas na Right, it was expected na mag-pull back talaga. Um, that's just normal market movement. Don't worry about this, right? These are up and down lang naman ng market. Eh. Actually, up pa rin siya. Kaso nga lang, nagka-take profits lang. Maybe the market is gonna do a pullback and then make a higher low. That's the most, um, I think that's the case that will happen. Baka mag-red ngayon si PSEI. But um, I've seen, I've been seeing so many good news about the market. So I think it's not gonna go down that much if babagsak man. So I think it's still gonna be continuing an uptrend. Ang ganda po ng Bollinger Band trigger na yan. So, that's uh, usually this sparks an uptrend. So, don't worry about PSEI. Right? Um, Kassel, John, Visaya, pasuyo po ng PX, PCOR, RLC. Uh, PX, PCOR, si PX masyado mataas na eh. PCOR, RLC, MPI, and FGEN. Let's check these guys out. FGEN, uh, nag-breakout din si FGEN eh. So, let's check out the chart of FGEN. John Paul Antolin, good morning. Sir Lloyd, good morning. Then, FRM, JCB, good morning. Tech and Win po. Ayan si Tech. Maganda yung technicals ni Tech. Uh, let's check. Kamustahin natin si Tech. I did recommend Tech a few days back. Alright, kamustahin ko na nga. Ayan, nagsusupport pa rin. Hindi pa gumagalaw. So, bodega pa rin kay Tech. I did recommend, I did, re I think I recommended Tech at around this support right here or this bounce right here. I think this is the bounce. 
And then after two days, um, still holding on to that support. So, pwede pa rin magbodega kay Tech. Actually, Tech has been giving us very good numbers. So, dapat iniipon nyo, nyo yan. Third quarter earnings, very good numbers, 207%. Uh, second quarter earnings, plus 86%. These are very good numbers for the year for Sir Tech. So, bodega po kayo ng Tech. Isa yun sa mga nanireko ko last, uh, is, ilang araw na ago. So, it's still okay to buy. Right? As buy as long as the support holds yung recommend, rec recommendations ko niyan. Dapat yung mga recommendations ko, tapos nakita nyo, sinusulat nyo rin kung minomonitor ninyo. Right? So, um, asa na yun? bumaba bigla eh. K Kudia MPI STI and MP um right tech and win this is from K naman MPI STI and APX ayan uh Sirloid Picor ayan Picor is still in my recommendations nag hold pa rin naman yung support I did recommend that yesterday MHC and EW po I'll write these down sana maabutan natin uh EW uh, after our discussion yun um Wahoo, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Christian. Cortez, Alan Ibarbia, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Bicor, now, and CHP, please. Bicor, now, and CHP. Let's check it out. See, so, now, ang ganda ng galaw na kahapon. Sabi ko sa inyo, magbodega na kayo now kasi nagsusupport na yun. Uh, this was the support we were looking at. I did recommend now at this area. And there it is. Right? You always um, you always look at the support. And then, suerte na yan kung mag-uptrend or not. Ganun lang naman talaga ang trading eh. So it's a good if it's a good company, yun yung yun po yung bias ko. If it's a good company, um and then maganda yung technical analysis niya, right? I will be buying that pag nag-form ng support. That's why I recommended now at this area. And it took how many days before lumipad, but at the very least lumipad. So dapat ganun ang ginagawa ninyo habang nasa baba pa. You test out the support, hindi yung resistance ay test ninyo, right? So, yun. Um, good job sa mga pumasok kay now noon. Uh, you should be enjoying your earnings now. Look at this MA20 bounce. It's very beautiful. I don't want to recommend now anymore because we have a strong resistance coming. So, iwas na. Iwas na po, please. Dapat doon tayo sa baba pumapasok dyan. We'll talk about CHP also in a while. Um, Katrina Urbano, um, Sir Insights kay PNB, please take profits na ba? Um, PNB. Alright. Uh, si PNB, nireko ko ngayon si PNB. Ah. Ba, um, it's not really for take profits, right? We have a breakout for PNB. Kaka breakout lang natin, so I don't want you guys to take profits. But if nakapaso kayo, you can always sell half. Uh, but just broke out with a very good volume. That's why I'm recommending PNB today. So I don't recommend taking profits. It's it just hit a resistance yesterday, but with the volume, this should tell us na mag uptrend pa ito. And overall, nasa baba pa naman si PNB. So, I don't recommend taking profits. But if you are shaky, if malaki na yung, pas uh, malaki na yung pera mo, I did recommend PNB here at the bottom doon. When it formed this, what they call this, it formed this divergence. Right? Nag-divergence to eh, di ba? So, we did talk about PNB before. Right? There was that divergence right there. So, if doon naman kayo nakapasok, yeah, I guess you can sell half kasi may resistance tayo dito. If you want to, yeah, you can sell half for PNB. Baka mababa naman yung pasok mo eh. So, pero sa mga gustong pumasok, yeah, okay pa naman pasukin si PNB. Just use a breakout strategy. Right? Um, Dong J, good morning, Sir Lloyd and Laika. Sir, pasuyo po ng IRC, PXP, and Vita. IRC, PXP, and Vita. I'll write this down. Um, next, uh, salamat po sa tulong nyo sir Wala po kayong seminar malapit dito sa Jensan This year, um, first quarter this year um, Plano ko po sa uh, Davao Ayan. So magsa-seminar po tayo dyan Abangan nyo po right. do, do we expect a market pullback today sir? Ni, ni PSEI Yes, with the movement yesterday We're expecting a pullback sa PSEI So, um, konti ingat lang Happy birthday sir Lloyd Thank you so much Rochelle uh, This Friday pa po yung birthday ko SMC, CLC Right, SMC, uh, it's my recommendation today, CLC, SMPH, masyado mataas na si SMPH. Good job sa mga pumasok sa baba. I've been recommending SMPH noon pa. Um, SMC and CLC, right, pag-usapan natin yan. Si CLC, um, umaakit na rin ni Abner Respicio. Resp right, good morning, Coach. Good morning then Roland Jamela. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. SLI. Is that FLI? I think that's FLI. Or ABA and TBGI. Right, so check natin ito ngayon sila FLI or ABA and TBGI Eduardo Arcoy SMPH sir thanks mataas na SMPH guys mataas na yan let's look at the chart of SMPH 
right? Oh, ang taas na niyan, <laughs> right? We, we're reaching resistance levels. Dito na-recommend ko si SMPH at dito na-recommend ko si SMPH. So, dapat dito pinasok na natin yun. So, medyo mataas na yan. Alright, um, ingat na dyan. Eh, huwag, niyo, huwag niyo muna titignan yan. Babalik din yan sa baba. So, upuan. Yun lang muna si SMPH. Alright, for now. Alright, good morning, Sir Lloyd Dencio from Lapu-Lapu City. Pwede pa check PIP. Uy, um, kabayan. Um, pwede pa check si PIP on sa possible entry point. Thanks guys sa help. God bless. Let's check out PIP. Nirecommend ko yung kahapon eh, si PIP. Umakit siya. Kaso nga lang, gap up ang nangyari kay PIP. Tapos nagka nagkabuhusan din but the volume is very very good so we'll, we see that there's buying so let's wait for the bounce for PIP before we wanna get in that will be a higher low so that will be our next support right um, most probably sa MA20 pag nag bounce yan that will be good entry point for PIP right um Noel Minano, good morning, sir. Kay FB, uh, can you consider engulfing bounce on price of 12.20.18? Nag-close just a matching previous red candle. Also, hoping to you elaborate on STR resistance, difference between FB and bounce MA20. And this was a question in the chat room kanina. Um, STR, I didn't recommend, uh, didn't recommend STR. Kasi uh, we have... Well, it's it's showing us a bad candlestick meaning nag resistance yan uh, this might be a resistance on a sideways movement and it's between and it's between um support and resistance already this is the immediate resistance na nakikita natin so that's why i'm not recommending str right now kasi uh, malapit na siya sa resistance i might be wrong but overall this is a missed opportunity oh sorry um this is a missed opportunity already this is str chart by the way so this is the question this, this is the question of noel why am i not recommending str right now um we have an immediate resistance right here overall this is a missed opportunity dapat uh, inabangan natin si str dito this was a this is a clear support one two three four it bounced at that area with a green this is the best entry umakit na si str and we're nearing that resistance that's why i'm not recommending str right now pwede itong tumaas and make a breakout you can use a breakout strategy if you want to but i usually recommend a pullback mas maganda ang pullback so it might pull back and make a bounce at me20 that will be our entry point ito for 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 me this is a missed opportunity already uh we have a res uh the support is quite far already negative 8.97 percent na ang what you call this ang ang distance from the support that's why this is risky for me i cut loss below three percent below support usually so that's around 11 percent of risk already so i really don't like the position of sdr right now that's why i'm not recommending it okay fb naman uh, very good question noel okay fb naman ang hindi po yung MA20 ang tinitignan ko kay fb ang tinitignan ko po kay fb is this marami pong factors and trading this is a resistance and this is a pattern and I did mention this before. I love breakout patterns from the bottom. And nasa baba tayo ngayon on the overall. Meron tayong magandang support dito. Right? So, we have good price action for FB. Ang ganda ng price action niya. Pata bullish yung mga tao. Kaso nga lang namimit ng resistance noon. Right? And then, there it is. Confirmation of the bullish move is a breakout. So, you can use a breakout strategy pagpasok nyo kay FB. Right? We have immediate resistances here. Uh, so, as much as you can lower your risk. Um, so, that's that's why I recommended FB today. Right? I'm F recommending FB today kasi kaka-breakout niya lang. Right? Um, Gerald uh, Salomeo, good morning. IDC and MRC, Sir Lloyd. Si MRC, medyo mataas na. Ang hirap sa ni MRC. I did tell you that just follow its uh, follow its uptrend line. Yan. Um, good morning, uh, uh, STV Trader. Good morning, uh, and Lyra, Laika ISM and IRC. Let's check these out. Nasulat na naman yan. Tech, Sir Lloyd, super risky but oh, no, not really. Very good position right now si Tech. So, it's not risky. Uh, good morning, insights on EW, FB, and SMC. Please from Monet Lagman. FB is right, is there. SMC is in my picks today. Um, also FB. 
So, yan, EW. So, ABS, guys. Yung nga pala si ABS, right? I've been talking to you about ABS dati, right? May panahon sa ABS-CBN and this is the panahon of ABS-CBN. There it is. Ang ganda ng win. So, good job sa mga pumasok kay ABS-CBN nung nireko ko po yan. Marami yan sila, right? Anyways, um, Den Ziog, Sir, uh, on sa date seminar mo sa Cebu, I'm interested to join. It's January 19. Ang hirap maghanap ng venue. So, I'm looking for a venue na simple lang makapag-gather tayo. But January 17 po. Save the date for Cebu, right? Um, January 19, it should be 1 to 6 p.m. Alright, I'm still looking for a venue kasi sinulog yan po ng mga venues at mahal ang mga venues. I really don't want it to be expensive so I'm looking for a good venue na win-win tayo. Alright, Aljan Al, uh, Ligikan uh, Ligigan, Ligigan. Alright, SMPH possible ba ma-breakout yung 52 week high? I don't, I don't think so kasi magpupula ba? baka mag pullback ang market ngayon so baka mag pullback rin sa SMPH so konti ingat muna um, good morning Sir Lloyd CLC and PCOR please Sir and Rochelle pag-usapan natin yan good morning Sir Lloyd PCOR pwede na ba pasukin yes PCOR yes I did recommend PCOR yesterday um, confirmation yung kahapon kahit pula yung candlestick niya um Ido Almo, good morning Sir Lloyd. I'm watching right now, still on the train on my way to work here in New York. Pahirit po ako ng status ng food. Right, so, kasi si Ido, nagta-travel, unahin natin si Ido. Right, food, maka naman sa menu, nagta-travel kayo lahat para mauna kayo. Right, so food, MA20 bonds, perfect MA20 bonds. At yung inaabangan natin lagi. This is the technical analysis that I've been telling you all the time. Nung nag-breakout si food, right, abangan nyo sa MA20, nagbabounce na sa MA20, Here it is again. As much as possible, if trader kayo guys, pinapanood ninyo yung stock ninyo na gusto. Kung gusto mo si food, dapat kahapon pinapanood mo ito when it reach, reached MA20 at 1.04, 1.05 and bounce from there. That should be that should have been our entry point right now on taas na ni food. Right? It's already negative 4% away from support. I don't like this position anymore. Dapat kahapon, umpisa ng bounce, pinapasok natin yan. This is the problem with being conservative or yung nag-aantay pa ng end of the day na bounce kung makakonfirm yung bounce, di ba? Problema naman yan, baka maiwan na tayo sa bounce yan. Ang hirap na pumasok, di ba? So, I am, that's why I am kind of aggressive especially in a bullish market. Um, pag nag-bounce yan sa MA20, pasukin ko na kaagad yan, right? So, yan, ganyan nangyayari sa mga medyo conservative. That, so, that's the disadvantage of being conservative. I'm not saying don't be conservative. We have different uh, risk uh, appetite. I am kind of risky person. So, this is okay for me kung nag-bounce sana siya. Actually, dito pa lang kung nag-bounce ito at 1.05, pinasok ko na ito eh. Right? So, there it is. Nag-sustain naman yung MA20. So, food, get in MA20 as near as you, as near, uh, get in near MA20 as, as near as, ah, Get in as near as you can sa MA20 ni Food. Ayun. Uh, Lordy Bagalay, good morning Sir Lord. Nag, naka-watch Rajud Kog live stream ni mo. Good morning, Lordy. And John Vincent Pleto, good morning Sir. Ali ISM, SMC Police po. Right? Um, Ms. Pa Villamore, God bless Sir. Uh, Lloyd, good morning. Good morning, Picor. Uh, sir, is it a good buy po ba? Yes, Picor is still good buy. Sir, good morning. Pwede ba ba pasukin si Picor at URC? Thanks po. Uh, URC is still okay. Um, Picor, yes, maganda pa rin si Picor. Um, mga recommendations ko yan kahapon. Right? Pwede pa rin. Right, si URC, tignan nga natin ulit. Uh, yan. Si URC, ayun. Um, Nag-Bollinger Band, breakout na si URC. Did recommend this yesterday. Ayan, umangat na. Eh, but it's still very low risk so pwede pa rin pasukin yan actually so yun pwede pa yan uh, Chet, Chet Hero good morning Sir Lloyd good morning then Marian Alexis Kalau good morning Sir Lloyd your thoughts on MRC and win please MRC right. let's check that in a while wow sir ganda ng sewing machine nyo po alright hindi po sa akin yan sa partner ko po yan hindi ako marunong magtahi alright uh, Sly John mas, my, my so na dilution po na ipin, uh, ipinanakot nila sa ISM alright sa ISM ito pag-usapan muna natin to before we go to our topic about short selling yan dilution po ang pina pinanakot nila sa ISM. Tristan Percada says, sa ISM, sir, split stock daw gagawin at meron din issue na dilution naman daw. Ang dilution, nangyari na yan kay ano eh, nangyari na yan kay TBGI dati, di ba? So, TBGI just forgot the price. Tapos, let's, let uh, me open TBGI chart. I forgot kan- kailan yun eh. I, I f- even forgot what was the price of TBGI during this time. Umangat siya. This was more than a peso. Tapos, nag-dilution siya 
dumami bigla. Hindi naman bumagsak si uh, si TBJ ay noon when that happened. Uh, umangat pa nga eh, di ba? So ganito mangyayari niyan. For example, idadilute nila sa to 3 pesos. So, the current price of RSM sa let's say 6 pesos. Kasi dadilute nila to 3 pesos per stock kasi dadamihan nila stocks nila. So, ang mangyayari sa iyo is your 6 pesos na stock. Let's say you have 1000 stocks at 6 pesos. Ang mangyayari niyan is magiging 3 pesos ang presyo ng stocks mo. Yes, bababa ang presyo ng stocks mo. Pero the um, uh, the number of stocks that you have doubles kasi ka, um kalahati yung uh, 100% I mean, kalahati yung binaba niya. So, magta times 2 ang presyo. I mean, ta- magta times 2 ang number ng stocks mo. So, you will have now 3 pesos na ang stocks, stock price mo. And then, you will have, instead of just 1,000 stocks noon, you will have 2,000 2, stocks now. So, basically, you still got the same value. So, that's not, that's not something you should be afraid of. Um, mas maganda pa ngayon eh kasi mga tao tingin nila mas uy mas mura ang stock ngayon tignan right there's a psychological effect nito na mura tignan ang stock before size 6 pesos ngayon 3 pesos yun yung mas naiisip na mga buyers hindi nila naiisip gaano yung number of stocks out there right so that's not we should that's not something we should be afraid of um i read a post um I read a post na babalik daw sa 3 pesos ang price. Sabi nila naman ng iba, bababa ang price pero dadami ang hawak mong stocks. That's okay. That's not that's not anything you should be uh, afraid of from Sly. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. And, uh, yun, I read um, I read a post na sabi nila na si Dennis Uy, right, baon sa utang ngayon. Right, that's true. And, Anong gagawin niya sa third telco? Sa third telco, the third telco project needs lots of money. So si Dennis Uy, kasi baon sa utang, wala siyang choice, magbebenta siya ng stocks. Dadamihan niya yung benta niya. So supply and demand daw. Alright, number one, it's true na may ut- maraming utang ngayon si Dennis Uy. Right? But these are very good debts. Right? Hindi naman siya utang na pangit ang mga projects niya. These are very good projects. And he's been acquiring good companies. So, that shouldn't be something we we, uh, we should be afraid of. Uh, but, yan, sa utang niya. But for the, th- uh, yung, yung thought nila na kailangan magbenta si Dennis Uy para masustain yung project na third telco, people forget na ang partner ni Dennis Uy is Chinatel. Chinatel has the major part of the consortium. Malaki po ng portion ni Chinatel sa consortium. Chinatel will not allow the project to go down. Chinatel has the money, has the investors. If they need money, Chinatel's connection, sila lang bibili ng stocks. And Dennis Uy knows the project is very big. Why will he sell it? at a low price. Si SMC nga noon, binibenta nila nung 140. Um, kasi ang, ting, uh, uh, ang iniisip ng iba, kasi binin, binili ni uh, ni Udena si ISM ng 3 pesos kung ibibenta nila ang stocks 3 pesos then It doesn't work like that. Hindi naman ganyan yan. Actually, sila ang nasa sa kanila magkano nila ibibenta yung stocks nila. Right? Um, this happened to FB before. Uh, no, not FB. Si SMC ba yun? Or was that FB? Yes, si FB. Binenta nila ng 140 pesos initial offering pero walang kumagat kasi napakamura ng stock ni FB and it was a bearish market. Wala silang choice. Binenta nila ng around 85 pesos if, not, if, I'm, if I'm right. So it's... Peep, uh, they can sell at whatever price they have. And ISM, uh, with Udena, with the projects that they have, I don't think they're gonna sell it at 3 pesos. Oh my God, napaka... That's bad business move. Kung ibebenta mo ng mura ang negosyo mo, e eh alam mo naman ang potential na negosyo mo. Right? So, I don't think they're gonna sell it at 3 pesos. I don't think they will. But if they will, then I'm just gonna buy it more. Right? Gan- okay lang naman. But I don't think it will happen. Um, ano ba yan? Um, ganito kasi yan eh. I think what people are trying to do is they are trying to pull the price down so that they can enter. Marami pong nag-aabang dyan. And takot lang sila sa presyo ngayon. That's why they, they are posting this. That's my two cents. Um, overall, if you're an investor, sabi ko sa inyo, you, you can always test buy para may pera pa kayo. If it case, it goes down. You still have money to average down. Ang problema kasi ng iba, 
is hindi sila pumapasok kasi ini naabangan nila sa baba. Right? This is my vert uh ito turo ko po sa inyo. This I teach this in the I teach this in the seminars that I have. A good trader, yan, a good trader always positions himself in a good position whatever happens to a stock. You position yourself on the what ifs. What if and for example, si ISM, ngayon ang presyo ni ISM 6 pesos, lagay natin si 6 pesos. Right? There's a possibility that it can go down to 3 pesos. There's a possibility that it does not go down to 3 pesos. So, yung iba kasi, they position themselves na gusto nilang bumaba na 3 pesos. Right? Yung iba naman, yung tinuturo ko is you test buy. Bakit? What ifs? Dapat sa dalawang what ifs na yon, what if bumaba, what if hindi bumaba, at tumaas. Right? So, those are the two what ifs. You position yourself na what if. Kahit saan, anong, sino ang mangyari sa kanila, nakaka, makaka-move ka or makakagalaw ka. You're in a good position. I want you to test by. Test by lang. So that, number one, what if umakyat at hindi bumaba sa 3 pesos? You're already in the trade. So that's good. What if bumaba? Then you still have money to average down. So you're at a good position on both the what ifs. Ganyan, na lang, ganyan lang naman sa stocks eh. Baka umakyat, baka bumaba. So, you position yourself already. Right? Yung iba kasi, nag-iintay pa bumaba. Um, I, 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 know so, uh, I know friends of mine, right? Nothing against them. You know, si Jollibee bumaba ng 240. Sabi nila, bababa pa yan. So, what if hindi bumaba? And ngayon, nasa 320 na si Jollibee. Wala na. Tingin na lang sila. Di ba? Um, nothing against them. But that's their, that's their risk appetite. Di ba? But, I always tell these to my students, position yourself na what if, on all the what ifs, may laro kayo. So here in ISM, just test buy. What if bumaba, then you can buy more. What if umakyat yan? Kung hindi ka nag-test buy, maiiwan ka na. Right? That's, yan, isa yan sa lessons ko talaga. Uh, that is how a good trader plays the market. Yan, pag may nakita kayong support, test buy nyo na. Right? What if it goes down? Then you can always cut loss or you can average down. Kung napakababa na naman ng presyo, di ba? You see, you have, you can do, you can do things. But what if umakyat? Just because binarat mo, hindi ka nakasakay, di ba? So, that's bad trading kasi you, you do not position yourself on the what ifs. You have to have be in a good position on the what ifs when you trade. So, that is my two cents regarding this uh, this issue right here. Yun yung sinasabi ko, ko. What if umakyat? Then, I'm already in the trade. What if bumaba? Then I can always average down. Dun, you, trading shouldn't be stressful at all. Right? As long as you know the strategies you need to apply. Right? Mas stress lang kayo niyan kung umakyat yan tapos hindi pa. Sabi ko na nga ba, pasok pa doon eh. Magsisisi lang kayo niyan. You're gonna be frustrated and then the frustration is gonna result to revenge trading, um, mag- magiging uh, aggressive na kayo sa susunod yung trades because of that. I don't want you to do that. Right? So, join my workshops. Join my seminar. Ang dami ko pong matuturo sa inyo doon. Right? So, um, yan. Um, before we start, the issue today, I mean, the topic today, uh, when we want to thank our sponsors, 2TDAsia, 2 Check them out. They're a good broker if you want to be a trader. Right? Uh, they have a mobile app na pwede kayo mag-trade sa labas. Very good. Itoro naman, um, Check out eToro at eToro.com. Please use the link that I have in the video description. Pwede niyo po akong i-copy trade. I'm already earning on my trades right now. But meron po marami pang traders out there who are good in the international market na pwede niyo i-copy trade. So, sitting pretty lang kayo. Right? So, um, yan. Uh, let's go to the topic kasi it's already 8.54. Ang topic natin ngayon is about short selling. Right? Before we go, that, go to that, um, let me go to your queries about what we talked about earlier, uh, ilang percent ng budget ang need to test buy? Ilang percent ng budget ang need to test buy? Usually, uh, I divide my budget to three, right? I divide it to three. So, yung one-third ang ginagamit ko pang test buy. My understanding, sir, sa three pesos, you then bought ISM was based on stock price last August, September. Yes, that's true, Kai. 
Right, Tyron Javier, kung bumaba naman ang ISM, then investors will come in pa rin, lalo na foreign investors. If bad entry naman, may cut loss and average down naman, wag pa apekto to sa bash hype. Always trust your system. Yes, that's true. People should have conviction when buying stocks. My dad bought Jollibee at 30 pesos kung nakinig siya sa mga bashers, edi wala. Totoo yan, brown man. Right? Lahat ng negosyante ay nangungutang. Walang negosyante hindi nangungutang. Tama, Sir Lloyd. Ang tawag doon ay good debt. Right? So, yun. Uh, Lisa, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Husband Warren, uh, my husband Warren is into investing but he wants to try trading dots. Why? That's why we wanted to follow your daily grind. Si Warren Buffett? Lisa? It's <laughs> right? naman if si Warren Buffett. Husband mo. Anyways, Warren and Lisa, good morning sa inyo. Right? So, I guess... It's, it's good to start our topic now. Ayan. Good morning, sir. Sked po ng seminar. Meron ako this Saturday and Sunday. It's an online seminar. Um, 9 o'clock in the morning. Just please send me a message if you want to join that. So, our topic for today is short selling. Um, sayang eh. Napaganda yung usapan natin eh. I think I'm gonna be moving short selling bukas na. Right? Because I wanna go to the recommendations lang kasi wala na tayong oras baka maubos ko yung oras I have 15 minutes left to discuss about I mean 20 minutes left to discuss everything so pasensya na guys right I hope it's okay we'll just discuss about short selling in the strategies tomorrow anyways wala pa naman yung short selling uh, so biglang nagkaroon ng topic eh, in the middle of the ano, in the middle of the discussion so yan I'm um, just gonna be changing the uh, the the title for today. Pasensya na. We'll talk about short selling tomorrow, so don't miss this episode tomorrow. Right? Joel Allen, question po, Sir Lord, magkano yung charges if maglipat ako ng shares from one platform to another? Komplikado po ang process. Medyo hassle. I'm not sure with the charges. I haven't tried that yet. You can contact your broker if, for, 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 if, if they have any charges. Yan? Um... Ayan, um, let's go to my picks for today. These are my recommendations for today. I have around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ayan, walo. Right, walo sa our recommendations ko today. Web, PNB, MA, MEG, RLT, FB, SMC, and DMW. Alright, so let's check out. Unahin natin si Web. Right, web naman, ayan, I'm recommending web, good price action. We are already on an uptrend. We're seeing higher lows and higher highs. Higher low, another higher high. Right, so medyo malayo sa sa MA20 but the price action is already there. Um, So, I will use this as my support if I can. Okay, web, medyo aggressive itong approach na ito. So, you can wait for further confirmation of the support if you want to. Um, But this is already okay for me. Right? So, web, because it's on a strong uptrend. Ang ganda ng bounce niya kahapon. It's backed up by volume. So, I think this support is gonna hold. So, you can use this area as your support for web. Right? Um, next naman sa recommendations ko is PNB. Right? Um, others might say na pwede na ba mag-take profits kay PNB. I'd say no. Why? Because of the volume. Ang ganda ng volume ni PNB yesterday. Very massive volume. Right, it's the same volume when it started its growth. So, this is another start of the growth. So, kakaumpisan niya pa lang. So, if papasokin niyo po si PNB, you can use the breakout strategy. You can use your MA20 as your secondary support. Right? So, yun. Uh, these are the entries of PNB. Yes, we have a resistance right here. But anyways, breakout naman strategy natin. So, mas maliit po yung risk niyo if you use this. Ayan. Kaysa sa risk sa, sa win nyo. Right? So, malit lang ang risk for PNB. Right? So, use a breakout strategy for PNB. Next up is MAH. I'm recommending MAH for today. PXP received 1% down payment from Dennis Uy. Yan, si PXP rin. Ang grabe ang ganda ang gawa ni Dennis Uy. That's very strategic. Yung bin, um, nag, um, he's partnering up with PXP. Uh, kasi meron siyang negosyo about uh, sa gas and then sa kanya rin ibibigay yung project with, uh, yung uh, CX, uh, oil exploration so most probably PXP is gonna go up but I, ang problem ko kay PXP is it has already uh, climbed up it's uh, what they call this nakuha niya na yung value niya eh, right? umakit na siya because of the uh, rumor and ngayon mas maganda na yung, may kinabukasan yung rumor kay magbagal yung akit niya right Anyways, um, Ma, right? Si Ma naman kasi nag-support na. Ma has been giving us consistent numbers for this year. Uh, 2, 3, 3% on the second, third quarter niya. So, Ma is very good. 
Right? So, um, 135 second quarter earnings and kakampi siya pala ng akyat niya. Right? There it is. It broke MA20 but sustained a good support right here. Bollinger Band is telling us na nag-stat stabilize na siya. So, I guess this is gonna go sideways. So, umpisahan nyo na po mag uh, mag back dyan sa support niya. Okay, Ma. Alright, so Ma. And then, he's are here one of my good uh, recommendations. Si Meg. Ayan, si Meg naman. Actually, no unang breakout niya nag-fail. It attempted to do that again. There it is. And then, ngayon nag-breakout na. So, we can use Meg. This is used, uh, we can use a breakout strategy for Meg. Ang ganda ng volume ni Meg yesterday. So, breakout strategy for Meg. So, mga gustong pumasok kay Meg. Ito, RLT. MA20 pullbacks. There it is. MA20 bounces. There it is. Bollinger Band trigger. Where do we wait for it? MA20. There it is. So, um, medyo may resistance dito, right? Um, best entry points is near MA20, but overall, ang liit ng risk, eh, right? So, it's still okay for me. I believe so. Sige, um, if ever you wanna enter RLT, you can use a breakout strategy. Just for a confirmation. Ang ganda ng volume kasi kahapon, eh. That's why I'm recommending RLT. Baka mag-breakout to si RLT. You can use a breakout strategy. Kakabounce niya pa lang sa si MA20 niya. So, RLT is still okay to get into. My top two picks for today. Number one, si FB. FB has been nag-breakout siya on an ascending triangle sa bottom part. This is very good price action. That's a confirmation of a bullish move. I usually consider this as a reversal. Right? Ilang beses ito nangyari. Right? A, a few examples. Nirecommend ko sa mga ganitong uh, position. Primex. Right? Si Primex gumawa ng ascending, ascending triangle dito sa baba. And then, nag-breakout siya. So, I usually those are reversals. Right? Sino pa ba? Si Tugs. Nangyari rin kay Tugs yan. Right? Ascending triangle sa bottom area. Uh, it happened one time here. We have an ascending triangle kay Tugs dito. Right? Oh, sorry. We have an ascending triangle of Tugs dito sa baba. And I usually consider those as reversals. And there it is. Umakyat siya after that. So, um, FB. It's happening again kay FB. Right, uh, we have a uh, an ascending triangle dito sa baba, and then it just broke out. So that that's my entry point for FB. Right, SMC. Right, mind you, yung mga examples ko kanina, those are uh, nirecommend ko po yun, and they were, they were winning already. Right, so you ganon din kay FB. Same technical analysis I used for that uh, position. So that's okay for me. SMC, nag-abang lang ako ng bounce kay SMC and it gave us a bounce yesterday. That's a confirmation of this support right here. Um, the conservatives, conservative ones, if you don't really want to risk it here, you can wait for it to break ME20 but as much as possible, mura ko bibili niyan. Eh. So right now, we have good price action already for SMC. I want to get into that. By the way, si FB, very good foreign buying kay FB. So yeah, I will. Rec I am recommending FB pa rin. Right? Teka lang ha, ayaw mawala nito eh. Ah, yan, yun na, hayaan na natin yan. Alright, anyways, um, yun, FB, one of my picks for today, SMC, FB, and then lastly, si DMW. DMW, yan. So, DMW just confirmed the support. I've been recommending DMW dito pa lang. And then, there it is, nag-aangat nag na si DMW. Recommending it still kasi overall, maliit pa rin na risk. Very tolerable risk pa rin. Right? And it already clipped MA20. Uh, there is an immediate resistance dito ka, uh, the past few days, but it already broke out from that resistance. So, this is okay for me already for DMW. So, I'm recommending DMW today. Um, Top picks ko sa mga recommendations ko today is these three. FB, SMC, and DMW. Why? Because nasa baba ang mga ito. Very good prices right now for good companies. So, those are my top picks kasi napakalit ng risks. Nasa baba pa yung mga yan. Right, so those are my picks. Um, let's go to your requests. And requests. Number one, si BSC. Um, BSC. Uh, basic energy, I don't want to recommend it because we're seeing a strong resistance in this area right here. Best entry point is dito sa baba. Sana, if you want to enter BSC, just wait for it to do a breakout before you want to get in. Uh, there's an MA20 bounce, nag trigger siya. Baka MA20, pada rin naman MA20. So, it's either of the two. You can wait for a breakout for confirmation or you can use MA20. Right? Ang ganda na ng price action eh. Pataas na eh. So, this is good for BSC. Good find. So, nag-ask uh, nag nito. Si Tel naman. Ayan. Tel still. Um, just by as long as the support holds, we have a good, uh, R, what do you call this, uh, divergence already for Tel. Right? Pataas na yung RSI niya. So, anytime soon, this might go up already. I can't say when. 
Pero, this is already showing us a good position, si Tel. So, pwede nang, uh, pwede nang pasukin yan. Si Jake nag-spampe, right? <laughs> right, um, do, no need to, ano, no need to spam it. Unahin po natin kasi yung mga nauna kanina. Top 3 picks niyo po for this day, Sir Lloyd from Lawrence. Yan yung top 3 picks ko, si FB, SMC, and DMW, right? Um, next kay Tel naman, may question about AB, Atok Big Wedge, and Atok Big Wedge is showing us a resistance, right? So, I don't want to recommend it yet. Breakout. Just wait for the breakout if you want to get in uh, Atok Big Wedge. Overall, ang ganda naman ang price action niya. So, just wait for a breakout, just for confirmation for AB. Baka umakyat yan, right? Why on a breakout? Kasi, pag hindi nag-breakout yan, baka bumaba sa support. Worse is baka bumaba pa sa main support. So, just wait for the breakout. Right? Trade what you see. So, if you see a breakout, that's when you trade it. Next naman sa mga questions, si ISM. Right? Uh, let's check out the chart of ISM. Katina yung no go. Sorry. If may pasingit ang pasilip po, BDO, SM. Right? Oh, mamaya. Check. Let's check that out. If may oras pa tayo. Um, let's go for ISM. Check out ISM. Good volume yesterday. Bollinger Band trigger. Ah, uh, nag-breakout na siya sa second, ah, uh, another resistance niya here. So, I don't wanna look at a side, uh, I don't wanna look at those resistance anymore. We are seeing higher highs. We're seeing higher lows already. So, most probably the stock is already in an uptrend. Palapit na po yung January 31. Antayin nyo pa ba yung January 31 para mag-test buy kayo. Use this uptrend if you want to get in. Right, MA20, look at MA20. MA20 is sitting perfectly on that uptrend line. So, the best entry is MA20. You can use a breakout strategy. Right? You can be aggressive and use a breakout strategy. But I strongly recommend sa baba po tayo magbodega. It's been giving us so many buy opportunities already. We've, I've been talking the, about ISM almost every day. Pasukin nyo sa uptrend line. Uptrend line ulit. Pasukin nyo. Pasukin nyo ulit sa uptrend line. Ganun lang. <laughs> so, I'm, I re really don't know why ayaw pumasok ng mga tao. Ang daming natatakot. Guys, you don't have anything to be worried about. Right? I'm recommending this as an investor. So, those are the perfect entries there. Test buy. Right? Test buy lang. If in case it goes down, again, just buy more. Right? Bili lang kayo na mas marami pa kung bumaba man yan. What ifs? Again, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be saying this again. Tinuturo ko ito sa seminars lang. Position yourself on the what ifs. What if hindi bumaba yan? E di naiwan lang kayo ng trend, right? If bababa man yan, at least nakapag-test buy kayo. Meron pa kayong pang average down if you, ha if you really need to, right? So, yun. Um, those are the best positions on the what ifs, right? Reco mo para sa mga investor, sir. Uh, SMC FB. Ngayon, maganda si SMC and FB. I don't want to recommend any other stocks right now sa mga investing stocks, sa mga blue chips kasi nagliliparan na. Si MPI, hindi pa lumilipad, right? I can recommend MPI still. For investors, just wait for the bounce. Hindi ko na-recommend si MPI ngayon kasi wala pang bounce nakikita. I'm just waiting for MPI to bounce before I am recommending it. But these are the stocks ng mga blue chips na hindi pa lumilipad. So, positionan nyo na ito, si MPI, please, right? Um, antayin nyo po yung bounce before you wanna get in. Right, anyways, MPI, F FBS, and SMC, yun yung mga maganda ngayon na hindi pa lumilipad. This is for Kent Managay. Alright, anyways, uh, let's continue. Asan tayo? Picor. Picor. Yan, si Picor, still a buy for me, right? Um, paakyat, paakyat, paakyat. Even though it's a red, volume is already there. We have a double bottom right there. First bottom, right? I want to write this down. First bottom, second bottom is there. So, first bottom. Second bottom, so we have a double bottom already for <coughs> for Picor, right? Um, not just that, we have a good divergence right here, sideways and support. RSI is already going up, so most probably this is already a good support. Please, pastohan yun na po ito. Kung gusto niyo kumita, these are the low risk place. Gusto niyo practice trading, ato itinitig na niyo, right? Ito yung dapat tinitig na ninyo. Alright, so Picor, yan. Picor, I've uh, been recommending that yesterday. I'm, I'm recommending that still today. Tinanggal ko lang para maliit lang yung lista ko. ISM to the moon, upo lang. Ano po possible target price? I can't really say about target price. Right? Um, we'll talk about target prices natin noon. I'm not that kind of a trader na may tina-target price ako. Right? I do look at the, um, the research of other 
brokers, for example, si target price ni JFC is 340. So, I can look at that. Pwede natin tinitignan yan. But, overall, kasi since I can watch the market, I'm a trader, um, I look at the price action. Pag meron ng weakness, I usually sell half. Right? Um, Cecil, nakasakay ako kay 6.15 kay SM, sir. Very good. Good job. Right. Um, si PIP naman, just wait for it to bounce. Right. Antay nyo lang po ang bounce to PIP. That's for PCOR. Let's, let's go to PHA. And si PHA is still recommending this. Uh, magbodega po kayo habang nasa baba pa si PHA. PHA has already been improving as a company. Medyo negative sila sa third quarter. That's because they had an acquisition. Ang laki ng gastos nila. Alright. So, um, PHA. Um, still recommending this. Magbodega po kayo nito. Napakamura pa ngayon ni PHA. Right? It's starting to starting to go on the upside na. Baka lumipad na ito anytime soon. Nasa taas na siya ng MA20 naglalaro eh. Right? So, PHA, recommended ko po just keep buying on buy, buying the dips. SEC naman. Ayun, si SEC after we were waiting for this bounce for SEC, di ba? Um, we have a higher low right here and nag-lipad-lipad na si SEC right now. I'm waiting for SEC to do a pullback before I want to recommend it again. That's already risky for a position kay SEC. Um, so, I don't want to recommend that. We did talk about a breakout strategy for SEC yesterday kasi nag-breakout yan. This was the resistance, immediate resistance, nag-breakout siya. Ang mga taman. So, that's a confirmation. You can play a breakout strategy for SEC if you want to. Pwede naman yan. I, but I don't like pullbacks right now. Medyo manipis ang volume ng market. So, I really don't want to be aggressive and use breakouts. As much as possible, pullbacks po ang antayin ninyo. MY did recommend MY yesterday. Uh, FB is my recommendation for today. Um, let's go for... Uh, Asa na tayo? SEC Tugs. Ayan, si Tugs. Ayan, si Tugs. Wait for the bounce kay Tugs. Antayin lang natin yung bounce si Tugs. Uh, this was already a very good support and umakit na si Tugs. Right, let's just wait for Tugs to do a uh, do, do a bounce. Nagpo-pull back pa siya. So, antayin natin yung bounce muna ni Tugs. I'll be recommending Tugs pag nag-bounce na yan. Si PLC naman recommended that yesterday lumang umangat na. So, I don't want you to get in that today. PXP. Right, so PXP, ayun. This is the pullback I'm waiting for her PXP. Just wait for the bounce. Inintay ko po yung bounce ni PXP. Right? Um, next for PXP is CEI. Uh, CEI. Downtrend pa si CEI guys sir. I'm seeing lower highs and lower lows So I don't want to recommend CEI yet But yeah, this is a good company But right now um, it's, show, it's giving us a resistance So I don't want to recommend CEI Just yet um, Next guys, CEI is Vulcan and It's 9.12 time check Nakapwesto na kay Picor sir Add more lang kung bumaba pa Thanks sir Ang baba na ni Picor actually Um Next is Vulcan. Right, si Vulcan. Hira pa sabihin eh. Right, um we have an engulfing pattern though. Right, so this is good. Para ko nang huula eh. Right, this is good. Maybe we can find a bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan, we can test it out. Pwede natin i-test out yung bounce na yan. Right, so for Vulcan. Antayin lang natin yung bounce ni Vulcan. Si um for Vulcan, ayun. Next is to go. Um, medyo uh, nire-recommend ko naman si Tugo um, use the MA20 as your entry point for Tugo overall we have good price action here yan so MA20 na lang si MA20 na lang po ang antayin ninyo right so Tugo right use MA20 actually I'm inside Tugo you saw my port yesterday nakapasok po ako si Tugo uh, dun sa MA20 so use MA20 as your support kung mag-collapse man um, you can always get out if you want to pero ang ganda po ng ginagawa ni Tugo ngayon bibilin siya ni CLC that's gonna pull Tugo up right ISM uh, we talked about ISM already uh, FNI and Global Ferro Nickel very good support for G FNI there was a massive volume on one one of the days not really massive but good volume so good price action na si FNI actually just um, we have a support area. Let me draw a square. Square, square, square. Paano nga ba yun mag gumawa ng square? Hindi ko na naalala. Uh, ayaw. Ayun. Rectangle. Ayan. So, this is the support area of, what they call this, of FNI. That's the best. Uh, as long as this holds, you can buy FNI. Ang ganda ng movement ng FNI. Starting to bottom out. We're already seeing divergence right here. So, paangat na yung, uh, paangat na yung uh, RSI niya. So, FNI, anytime soon, baka umakit na yan. So, if you wanna get in FNI, okay naman si FNI. Eh. Gave, us, eh, gave us 
uh, okay numbers. Um, so, yun, second quarter nga lang pangit. Pero yung Chinese na mga investors na pumapasok kay FNI. Eh. So, most probably, it's a good bottom. I don't want to recommend FNI as of the moment. Uh, I want it to bounce and sustain that support before I want to get into that. Uh, PX, right? Si PX, mataas na po yan. Stay away from it, right? Again, ito yung diniscuss natin kahapon. We saw a red signal, but it's still above MA20. So, I said, yes, baka umakit yan. And umakit nga kahapon. The thing is, I am, uh, newbies, I want you to become position traders and there is not any position right here. It can go up. Um, yan. Pero kung gusto nyo pong sakin yan, you will be applying a momentum trade strategy. Still in the momentum, right? Momentum pa rin siya. It even closed above the previous candlestick. So, it still has its momentum. And there it is, umakyat pa. But dapat ang pumapasok dyan are mga momentum traders na. They have they have a curse to watch the market by the minute para in kaso na bumagsak man, makapagkat loss siya. Kung kayo, hindi kayo, hindi nyo kaya manood ng market every minute or hindi nyo po kaya maglaro ng mga buhusan, huwag na kayo dyan. Mabubuhas, mabubuhusan lang kayo. Or these are, this is where the good traders play already, momentum traders. Kung hindi pa kayo dyan sa level na yan, huwag muna. Right? Marami na may ibang positions dyan na maganda pa. Um, APX, right, we'll write these down, RLC, please. Good morning, Coach. How about CHP? I think nasulat sa si CHP. So, unahin na muna natin muna yung mga nauna mag-request, okay? Um, next kay PX is PCOR. Right, PCOR, I, we, we talked about PCOR already. Um, RLC, ayan, may nag-re-request din about RLC. And si RLC, uh, the problem with RLC is we are at resistance levels, right? Um, this is the resistance levels of RLC. The long basis na siya nag attempt ng breakout. I did recommend RLC kahapon on the breakout. It did break out. Ito naman ang advantage ng mga nag-aantay ng end of the day. Right? So, wait for the breakout. Ang breakout siya in the middle of the day. If you were aggressive, nag-collapse siya. So, pangit yun. Um, you lost. Kagandahan naman sa mga nag-end of the day, if they watch at the end of the day, oh hindi naman nag-sustain. So, hindi nila napasok. Diba? So, that's the advantage of being conservative too. So, it really depends up to you guys. So, right now, um, antayin po natin ang bounce ni RLC before you wanna get in or wait for it to do a breakout before you wanna get in RLC. There's a big possibility na baka bumaba pa ito sa, uh, sa support niya. Alright, so RLC. Next naman sa RLC is MPI. Yan, I'm gonna be recommending MPI. I'm just waiting for it to bounce. Antayin lang natin yung bounce na MPI. Baka lumapit pa sa support, which is good. Right, FGen naman. Yun si FGen. Massive full pullback. Ito yung problema ko, guys. Right, um, this should have been my topic for today. Right, for short selling, we are seeing a bearish divergence for FGen. Mataas na po masyado yan. So, mga naghabol kay FGen, baka maipit kayo. And then, yun nga, nag pullback na yesterday. Look at this, pataas ang presyo. Pababa ang RSI. That's a bearish signal. At alam na natin na bababa na yun si FGen anytime soon. Right? So, yun. Uh, I don't want to recommend FGen anymore. Right? Nag-52 weeks high ito eh. Right? So, wag na po. wag na po habulin yan dyan sa taas. Right? The best position was dito sa baba pa. Di ba? Uh, we had a... Ito yun. Lagi kong... Lagi kong ididikdik po sa inyo ito. Libre na dikdik sa inyo. Right? Ma, one of my favorite technical analysis, look at that. Pababa ang presyo, RSI is going up. That's a divergence, that's our entry point, that's a double bottom, that's another divergence right here. This is a double bottom, right? Yan. That's divergence on the double bottom. Yan. So, sobrang daming buy signals dyan sa baba. Bakit hindi natin pinasok dyan? I recommended FGen at that area. And then, there it is. Ang taas na. Taas na masyado. Right? So, mahirap na. Ang hirap na. Ang hirap na yan ngayon. Mataas na yan. So, stay away from FGen for me. Babalik rin yan naman sa baba. Eh. Antayin natin mag bumaba ulit si FGen. Tech naman. Si Tech, buy as long as the support holds. Narecommend ko po yan noon. Uh, this is a very good price for Tech. Right? We're seeing... Somehow, a little divergence already. So, tech. Bodega na po kayo tech. Right? Pwede na po bilhin yan. Win. Right? There's a question about win. Um, 
uh, yung now, medyo mataas na si now. Noon ko pa sa support, yun recommend yan. Alright. Alco po, sir, tuloy-tuloy ba ang uptrend niya? Hopefully, it does. Alright. Alco. Ayaw mag-load ng chart. and So, hopefully, it does. Uh, but we are seeing very high prices already. At yun rin. Um, good that you ask about Alco. Ayan. Uh, those are bad signs. So, Matas na yan. <laughs> Stay away from it. Baka bumagsak na yan. Eh. Palimpis na yung volume niya. So, the growth is not sustained anymore. So, anytime soon, mag-pullback na yan sa Alco. And the harder the climb is, the, 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 the higher the climb is, the harder the fall is. So, stay away from Alco, please. Alright. Next up, si Jerry. May question na kay Jerry. Narecommend ko yun noon. Medyo lumilipad na si Jerry. But anyways, unahin po natin yung uh, mga question na, na una. Alright. Win. Alright, so win naman, just wait for the bounce. Malapit na po tayo sa MA20 anytime soon. Baka within the day, mag-bounce yan. Pwede nyo pong basukin within the day. Right? Um, if I say, wait for the bounce, and you are you like this company, I recommended win on this support, and dalawang araw na siya umakyat, and then that's the pullback. That's normal. Dapat ng sell half tayo dito, and then the other half na gain natin, we buy more here, and then we use MA20 as your support. Use MA20 as your support pag nag-bounce yan kay Win. Antayin nyo po yung bounce ni Win. STI. Alright. STI. A time check, guys. It's 9.21. So, we have 4 minutes. Bilisan ko po ito. Uh, bilisan lang natin. Alright. So, uh, STI. Uptrend. is right there. Um, kaso nga lang. Uh, this is scary. Yung RSI niya. So, I think mag-stabilize pa ito. Mag-sideways na ito si... Uh, si STI. Bollinger Band is telling us na nag nawawala ni momentum niya starting to constrict. So, I think STI is gonna do a sideways move already. So, I don't wanna recommend it anymore kahit pa mag-bounce yan. The best entry points were here at the bottom. Right? I did recommend STI here. We have a, we had a support right here. Bollinger Band trigger and then there it is. We did recommend STI here. Right? And then there it is. Dyan po tayo sa baba. Pumasok. Please, kung gusto niyo pong gumita ang trading ninyo. Huwag po kayong atat sa earnings. Right, APX. Right, um, every now and then, I'm gonna be dropping lessons. Huwag po kayong maging atat sa earnings. Um, unless you are a day trader na wala kayong kinakain, ito lang ang pinagkikitaan ninyo. You can, pwede kayong maging uh, aggressive dyan. Right. But I want you to start as position traders. So, right now, APX. Um, showing us a lower high. So, this is um, this is something... We should be concerned about the APX and tayo natin maggawa siya ng support. So, let's see if it makes a support or makes a breakout. Right? So, APX, um, patience lang muna. Let's see what it does in the future. MHC naman. So, MHC, ayun, nagsusupport sa MHC. The, su the support sustained. So, this is good for MHC. Antayin lang natin bumalik yan sa support. Right? Um, we are seeing downtrends kasi. And then, it's a missed opportunity already. Um, so, stay away lang muna. Right? It's in between support and resistance. So, ingat lang muna. Get in your support as much as you can. Let's wait for it to do a pullback before we want to get in. Um, next MHC is EW. Right? East-West. Ayun, nag-break out na si East-West. At last, right? Good rally for East-West. Um, been recommending East-West dito pa sa baba. Right? Um, same technical analysis na tinuturo ko po sa inyo guys and didikdik ko ulit yan we have a divergence right here so that's a good bottom right there and then there it is kay east west umakit na really hard to catch these kinds of positions already yan medyo mataas na eh right so now nag breakout siya you can use a breakout strategy if you want to but i strongly recommend do a pullback uh, uh, do a pullback play right, right strategy and then you put in pullback and then when it bounces that's that will be your entry point for EW nag Bollinger Band trigger naman siya so you can try a momentum trade baka umakyat at umakyat yan si EW today so pwede nyo yung momentum trade yan if kaya ninyo if hindi naman wag po yung, yung pipilitin si Bicor nag bounce right starting to form a support right here si Bicor so I guess mag stabilize pa ito after a massive fall. Usually this uh matatakot ang mga tao after these kinds of movements. Let's wait for Bcore to uh to solidify this support, right? Um actually meron na support dito. Get in near 3.10 as near as you can sa 3.10 na yan. So that will be our entry point. If ever um umakyat man yan, antayin na lang natin yung pullback niya. Um for Bcore, that's for, and then sa so now may tanong kay now. Kay now guys, Yun. Um, nag-bollinger band trigger na. 
MA20. Wait for it at MA20 again, right? We have resistance nearing now, so I don't want you to make habol. Kaya na, wag nyo po habulin si now. Um, CHP, and may tanong kanina about CHP. Alright, it's 924. CHP, guys, is forming a flag pattern, right? Um, flag pattern tayo dito, so you can wait for a breakout if you want to. Alright, we have a flag pattern right there. So, if it breaks out that flag pattern, yes, that's the entry point. But, ang ganda ng MA20 bounces ni CHP. Usually, MA20 po, iniintay ko ang bounces. So, yeah. Um, benta na Pure Gold Coach. O nga pala, I remembered, I, re I recommended Pure Gold a few days ago. And, there it is. Um, benta na ba? I think so. It might continue the, it might continue the momentum today kasi ang ganda ng volume yesterday. But, antayin nyo po. Pag nag yan, then, sell half, right? Good job sa mga pumasok kay Pure Gold. Ranulfo, one of my students, congratulations. Technical analysis na paborito natin. My favorite technical analysis. Bollinger Band na constricted. There is the trigger. There's the MA20 bounce. Perfect entries. Good job sa mga students ko. There it is. Uh, sell half. Congratulations sa earnings ninyo. Okay, Pure Gold, wait for the red before you wanna sell half, right? Baka magtuloy-tuloy yan. Yeah. Um... Yeah, it's 9.25. And pasensya na if hindi tayo naka-topic about short selling. Anyways, it's not an urgent topic. Mas urgent pa siguro yung ISM. Yung nandiniscuss natin kanina. Today, uh, tomorrow, we're gonna be talking about short selling and then the strategies you can apply, you can use for short selling. Tuturuan ko po kayo niyan. In preparation of short selling, this is very good sa mga mahilig maipit kasi mahilig kayong pumasok sa mga bumabagsak na stock. Then, at least mapagkitaan nyo na yung mga bumabagsak na stocks when short selling comes. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Pasensya na if hindi ko po masagot lahat. Um, just send me a message if ever you have any questions. Seminar, January 19, Cebu, 1 to 6 p.m. The, the venue is gonna be announced, right? Most probably here in Dawe para hindi po traffic. Um, this weekend, Sa mga wala sa Cebu, you can join the weekend seminar. It's gonna be fruit. It's gonna be helping you a lot. I tell you guys, check out the testimonials ng mga students ko. Uh, just send me a message if you wanna join that. Saturday, Sunday, 9 in the morning. And yun. Market, baka mag pull back. Konti ingat muna. Right? So, if you need to take profits, please take profits. Wag po kayo maging greedy at mainlove sa stocks ninyo. Take profits if you see a weakness. Sell half. That's it for today. I'll see you again tomorrow. Let's get rich together. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy your Tuesday. Bye-bye.